Hi there, it's Lonnie from Milo Farm. I wanted to talk to you about what Milo Farm is about and show you a few things. So um, I'm sitting on the front porch of the lodge right now and I have the map. Um, this is the antique looking map from Milo Farm that um, has all of the trails and some fun attractions and things uh, that we have here. Uh, so this can be uh, looked at on mylofarm.com and on the Facebook page. So um, anyway, I'm sitting here um, by a little statue of a red bird that represents the mascot, um, Red Tanager at Milo. It's one of the great magical things that happen here. There's a lot of, um, uh, I, I can't even tell you all of the mystical things that happen um, on this land. Uh, so that's kind of what this land is about. It's about um, getting away, getting into nature. Um, it's about the sacred uh, cedar trees. There are many, especially in the cedar forest. Um, so it's important to get into nature to relieve all the stress we have as being a human. Um, so like next to the lodge is my art studio that is uh, also the spirit shack <laughs> and we do um, start tours here and do readings but in here is the art area and then um, on this side is where I do um, readings, YouTube videos, you can come and meditate, you can borrow a book. Uh, it's a very special place. This is my altar. I've got things from nature and things that are special to me um, when it comes to the divine. And I do pray every morning here. Uh, and if you are camping here at Milo Farm, you're welcome to join me. Yes, Milo Farm is uh, here for you for camping, for day trips, uh, day hiking trips, um, to come to retreats, to host retreats, to just feel this land. Um, I sit here and do, I can do readings too. I, Spirit talks to me. i am um, got a very good connection with them and I feel grateful that I have that connection. I did create a Milo Farm Oracle deck um, based on the land in places in the end and also about the Milo animals that I'm going to show you. So we're going to leave this spirit shack now and I'll show you a few spots and just know that we are only 20 minutes from the chief stadium. So if you're in the Kansas city area, you're driving down I 70. It is so close. It is so close to the city yet so far out and so magical. All right. So I'm just showing you, going to show you the pavilion. This is um, on the opposite end. You drive through the gates. Got to keep the gates shut so the animals don't get out and wander. We let them free range, graze around. I've got six goats and two donkeys and one sheep and um, other magical things that live here like the owls. I love the owls and the coyotes. Yeah. So up there is, oh, there's, you know, there's so much, um, so many miracles that happen here at Milo. And one of the things has to do with that, uh, the Maypole. And we have a Beltane May, May Day event every uh, May. So you're welcome to join that. The events are open to the public, just RSVP me. Uh, yeah, you can come and visit me anytime. And just, but just let, let me, let us know, right? So this is the pavilion. This is where we have, we hold events here. Uh, it's uh, great covered um, it's got electrical um, but anyway it's a good place to have sound healing to come and meditate and if you do come visit here there is a map here and there's um, things you can find out on the wall so right now the wall has um, a movie screen on it because I think they were watching movies here last time so we're gonna walk down this way we're going east and we're gonna pass the frog pond. You can see what the sound is. You can go fishing in the frog pond. There's catfish in there. There's bluegill. Uh, we do have a fish fry, one of my favorite events of the year. We bless the fish and we share them uh, from the frog pond. We actually have band 13, which was my favorite, plays right outside of the frog pond here. And then we dance. 
right here, right by the pool. Uh, yeah, so that is the Airbnb space. You can rent a lower level, which um, has two en suites and um, a playroom and a kitchenette and a sauna. And then you can play in the pool too. Uh, and you can also do pool passes if you are camping. We also have other parties uh, where that's involved. The pool swimming. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day here. I feel so blessed. The energy, again, if you just want to do a day hike, you can do that. Go on milofarm.com and you can register for a day hike. Um, you can volunteer. We have volunteer days. Uh, we have one um, every quarter about or any time you can come out and volunteer. You can join the woofer program. Um, we are part of that. Uh, and help us out. You can do things to uh, help with the garden, which is right here. Uh, you can help um, set things up. This is our hammock row. So if you want to help, uh, lay, like we have uh, the wood chips that need to be laid out, you know, if you want to help with that. If you just want to come in, like just feel into the land, that's what it's about. It's about sharing the sacred land. It's like this bubble of another dimension that's like so close to the city. And I am here as a female owned operated steward of the land and I feel so privileged to share that with you. And it's important that you know that it's um, here for everyone and it's it's not to be taken lightly. You know, getting into nature is, is um, very healing. We have an observatory, Starman Jim started that. You can look at the stars, which is another amazing part of nature. I'm walking over here to the animals. The Milo Farm animals are coming to greet me and I want them to say hello to you. So, well, hi, Moon Pie. This is Moon Pie, she's beautiful. Can you see Moon Pie? Yeah, hi Moon Pie. Hi Maynard, how are you? This is Plato the donkey. Hi, Plato. He's a good donkey. Yeah. We've got very happy animals here. This is Maybelle. She was born in May. Can I say hello? <laughs> so, being part of Milo Farm, you also get to be part of the animals. And the animals love being loved. They know that they're important here. Actually, Plato thinks he. He owns the property, <laughs> so let him think that. That's fine. Uh, I just want to thank you for watching and just let you know that if you have any questions about Milo Farm and what we're about, we're about sharing and community and love and getting into nature and ecology and sustainability and, and uh, moving into the next wave of the world, of our uh evolution it is about becoming one with animals and nature and each other and Milo Farm is a big part of that and I would love you for you to to come out and feel it for yourself namaste love you we will see you soon I am Lonnie by the way good day <laughs>